Hello everybody and welcome. This is just a video because of the 1.2 release and I actually managed to find a working version on the internet of KSP 0.7.3. So today we're going to be looking at the oldest version of the KSP and the latest version of the KSP. We'll start with the old version because we I, I think that's the best. Well, to start with, <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty bland. Yeah, actually, it actually doesn't load when you open it. It only loads when you click start game. So it's actually a completely different loading process. And then there's it doesn't fill up. With the other newer KSP, it's different. But anyway, so this is the home screen. This is the space center. Um, these mountains don't exist, these roads don't exist when you're actually at a real place, but you can't look around. All you can do is stare at this picture, or hover your mouse over either the vehicle assembly building, or the launch pad. And you can click these, but let's go into the VAB. And inside, we have this. So, what we're going to do is make a very basic rocket. So, capsule decoupler let's get our parachute and our solid rocket motor all right so now we have our rocket no crew no symmetry nothing uh -huh. let's save and let's launch so now this defaults to build a bomb no IVA no EVA just here and then again no roads, no mountains. They do have trees. Um, yeah, and you got the AB right here. And you can't use Z and X. That doesn't do anything. But we hold shift the old fashioned way. T for SAS doesn't do anything. You actually have to hold F. You have the SAS force right there. But you do have your typical space bar. <laughs> stage fall away. The explosions are actually pretty nice. I'll give it to them. Yeah, but um, still think they have the some of the atmospheric stuff still working right because um, wind and atmospheric drag automatically puts to prograde just like it does in real life and in the newest version of KSB. But it appears. Because we have no atmosphere gauge and it, the atmosphere doesn't thicken, we are accelerating. I know we're just picking up actually. Yeah, screaming in pretty fast. Now there's no time warp, so I'm kind of gonna wait for the last minute to pull the chute for either a great glorious explosion or a fast recording time. start to load more. You can zoom out at a pretty decent distance actually. I'm not gonna do that right now. This is player shoot right now. No. And no right click by the way. You can't access anything. And every part you put down has a stage 
So even like the tricoupler is like a question mark. They have like a fuel tank icon. In fact, actually the liquid fuel rocket doesn't even have a fuel gauge. It literally goes on forever. And when you throttle down, like if you look here with the liquid fuel engine, when you throttle down, it still, um, still, uh, does a little bit of thrust. Like the thrust limiter's broken. But yeah, I think that was a successful flight. Um, press escape. We have resume flight, end flight, and quit. It's end flight. Um, total distance traveled. Highest altitude is 91.75. Cool. Alright. So, this is just a very brief overview of 0.7.3. But let's get into this. This is pre release 64 bit. And I've already noticed a bug. This is supposed to be, I know it looks like asteroids, but this is supposed to be the month surface. The reason is because you have the mother bus thing. Terrain broke. But, um, I have a test all set up. And we are going to do the same thing we did in the other one, but different. I know that was weird. Plain icons now, finally. Um, just recovering that. Wow. Map view is interesting. You got Comnet, basically all probes need to be connected to Kerbin or a or a Kerbal in some way. Um through rel relays or other things. All these buildings. Let's go in the VAB. So we'll do the same thing. We'll do our basic capsule. We will go to sorry, I'm a bit new here to this um, interface. Gotta remember, gotta always utility will always be there. It's been there since the beginning. But they have this helpful coupling now. Um I still kinda think docking ports kinda go in utility a bit, but I, I see why, because they dock and undock. But basically they added things like pods, fuel tanks, engines, command and control, structural, coupling, payload, aerodynamics, ground, thermal, electrical, communication, science, utility. So now we'll just do our SRB hammer. And yeah, so we can have action groups. We have crew. Um, we have the KSpedia. Actually, the debug menu is kind of redone. I um, might show that in another video. But you have center of mass, center of thrust, aerodynamics, symmetry, angle snap, all the things. But most importantly, one of the good things is um, you can load different craft. So, but let's get going. So let's see if this rocket goes higher or lower than our other one. So I think the other one was about 9,000 meters. Let's see if we can break that. Now throttle doesn't really matter, but um, Z and X do work. T for SAS. Um, interior overlay. So we can see inside the cockpit. We can see the stars. EVA, get outside, inside, cockpit view. Actually. Alright, let's go. Right click also. Fuel. Here is the KSC monolith right there. Map view tells us our connections, our apoapsis, which is very high actually. You know, I might actually go and take a look at some of these connection points, because there are literally like dishes there that you could take a look at. Seeing immense tree effects, aerodynamic overlay is great. Actually. As a matter of fact, are going to space. 
probably should have brought a heat shield. That would have been a good idea at the time. Yeah. We'll be fine. Hopefully. If we're not. Oops. <laughs> Let's point ourselves retrograde. Hey, it's not as shaky. That's way better. Yes. Um, depends on how rough the atmospheric entry gets. I might have to, um, cheat. Unless we should let this thing explode, but that's no fun. Switching to surface. Getting hot. I'm doing this overlay to hiding the re-entry and just seeing its heat by F11. Huh. Looks like it won't be so bad after all, even with a apoapsis extremely high. Um. There's our debris. The icon is now square. <laughs> Bit easier to see. We're actually getting quite close to it. I wonder. Teeth up. Pretty. Actually. There. Took some screenshots. Let's time warp because this takes quite some time. <laughs> we can right click. We can see that it's safe to deploy our parachute. So I think we will do so shortly. Parachute deployed. SAS is no longer required. Parachute deploying. Please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. All right. I would say that was a successful mission. Wow. Forgot about that. I mean, not the most interesting mission, but a mission nonetheless. All right. Coming down at a pretty good speed. Let's stop time warping. But um, the mod hype reddit, for if you don't know that, basically it's where you can like teleport things and orbit and stuff. You can now do that and built in. So that's pretty good. And then now when you hack the gravity, you can actually tweak how much of it. But so now we have way more options but we are going to actually if we press f3 we can look here and high altitude way higher than 9000 <laughs> so yeah that is the quick demo of the difference between the oldest ksb and the newest ksb thank you